Hello everyone and welcome to the best of Luxury Beauty 2020 week where each day I will bring you categories with the best of luxury for 2020. For day one we're going to be focusing in on primers, setting sprays, and powders. Let's go ahead and get started. I will not be mentioning any Tom Ford products in today's video. I'm going to be doing a dedicated best of Tom Ford 2020 video because it goes in line with our series here on Tuesdays, Tom Ford Tuesday. If you're curious about any of the products that I am wearing today or any of the products that I mentioned, everything will be listed and linked for you down below in the description box. I am wearing the Marc Jacobs Iconic Eyeshadow Palette in Terrific, which may be in my best of when it comes to eyeshadows. You'll have to stay tuned for that. I will be making a playlist so that if you have any specific categories that you want to check out, you can. So I'm not going in any specific order. I intentionally placed my products very randomly so that I could just reach and speak. <laughs> so for starters, this is the Glam Glow Super mattifying, clarifying primer. Now this primer in particular, while as it says it's a mattifying primer, I do find it to be a more modern matte. It's not drying, it's not leaving you super flat, your skin does not feel dehydrated, it wears beautifully, it's super comfortable. And this was something in 2020 that I found myself reaching for quite often. Did a dedicated video with wear test and such you really want to get into the nitty gritty details, but this was a hit. It's definitely a balm texture. This color scared me at first too, but once you blend it in, it completely goes away. And you're left smooth, but you're not dehydrated, although it is a mattifying product. It's said to have the Super 6 blend, which for Glam Glow is said to contain lactic acid, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, mandelic acid, a whole bunch of acids that help keep your complexion clear. So this primer really is perfect if you are acne prone, blemish prone, or if you're just an oily girl. This comes in a variation of two, but I more so found myself reaching for this one more than the other variation. It's the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. Packaging is absolutely beautiful. It is so Tatcha. Does you know, once you see it, the colors, everything, it's like, okay, I know, that's Tatcha. So this is the other variation of the primer. This is the more solid variation, and this is the liquid. I did a dedicated video, you know, comparing the two to see if there was anything different about them, if you had one, if you needed the other. And long story short, I personally found reaching for this more so on personal preference. This is the consistency on this one. It definitely helps you look smooth and blurred. Nothing too artificial, nothing unrealistic. It's definitely one of those primers that if you wanted to, you could wear it all on its own without any makeup. It wears beautifully, it definitely does. And I do, I do find that it does help your makeup last longer and look better longer. Is my lash trying to get away? Are you trying to get away, honey? <laughs> oh. This next primer will probably be no surprise to many of you, but it's with good reason. And I think this is the one product that I've recommended most and the one product that I'm so proud of all the feedback that I get, which is always along the lines of, what was I doing before I tried this? Wouldn't you like to know? It's the Sicily Double Tinsure Primer. So packaging is very simple and sleek. It's very Sicily. This is definitely a skincare product. And I love that about Sicily because they incorporate skincare in majority of their products. So you get the benefits of skincare, but you also get the benefits of makeup being enhanced, wearing better, looking better. There's definitely a difference in my skin, my overall makeup wear, the overall way my makeup looks whenever I use this product. My skin is supple. It's hydrated. 
it's very, very comfortable. It gives a little bit of tack and that helps definitely your makeup be prolonged in wear. I mean, I've got nothing but the best of the best things to say about this and that is why I'm so happy that she is here in our best of 2020 when it comes to primers. This next product, it reminded me of an older product <laughs> that I used to use and I think that's why I like it as much as I do. I'm talking about the Marc Jacobs. Wait, the packaging goes like this. Which the packaging is really nice. This is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. The packaging is on par with the whole coconut line that Marc Jacobs has. This is exactly as it says. It's a blurring primer. Primer. What the heck? And this is the consistency. This is the one that reminded me of the YSL Touche Clat Blurring Primer. Except this one does not have the gold flakes in it. It gives that blurred, smooth skin effect. This is another primer that I found myself using without any makeup, just to get that smooth and blurred effect on the skin. Definitely let me know some of your favorite primers. Comment them down below. So this primer is a multifunctional primer. Now what I mean by that is it's a product that you can use to prime, you can use to set your makeup, or you can use it all alone on just a very light, no makeup day with a light dusting. I personally prefer using it as a primer and that's why I've included it. And it has definitely earned that spot in the 2020 best in luxury beauty. It is the Sisley Blur Expert Powder. This beauty. It used to have a pretty flower on it, but as you can see, she's gotten so much love. I'm so proud to say that because I have a lot of makeup. So <laughs> when I have certain products that I like go ham with, it's like, it's a moment. This is a product that it keeps you matte in the sense that you're not going to be overly dewy, but it gives a little bit of luminosity to the skin. It also lightly blurs any pores or imperfections or fine lines. There is no product out there that is going to make all of your flaws disappear, but I always say this, we will get close with a product like this. You'll just look smooth and nice. Whenever I use this, I focus it just more so here and in my smile lines. It is really fantastic. I did a dedicated Sisley full face. I've done a dedicated video describing all of the powders from Sisley which everything will be listed and linked for you down below if you really want to get into nitty gritty details. But this definitely deserves a spot in the best of luxury 2020 because it does an amazing job. And I like that it's multifunctional. So keeping in with the primers, we're going to go to eyeshadow primers. And I only have two, but they are the two. Starting off with the Marc Jacobs undercover perfecting coconut eye primer as mentioned the coconut line from Marc Jacobs they all have this cute little packaging so the eyeshadow primer is like the little baby version of the uh, blurring primer it's adorable I love the texture of this okay it's very lightweight that's the texture and consistency of it it gives us very slight tint to my lids Definitely notice a difference whenever I use this eyeshadow primer. My shadows adhere better, they blend better, they stick on, they last, they don't crease. It's definitely not an eyeshadow primer that you have to put on and like wait for a while for it to do its thing. This is definitely one that's lighter in weight. It goes on very easily and you can go on rather quickly right after with your eyeshadows. But I most always, out of habit, try to just let them sit for like a minute or so. But this always allowed my eyeshadows to perform and look beautiful. So I'm very happy to share this in the 2020 Best Of. Now the next eyeshadow primer is the Hourglass Veil Primer, eyeshadow primer. It's very nourishing on the skin. The texture is quite similar to the Marc Jacobs. Let me do them side by side, just for fun for you to see. But I feel the Marc Jacobs is a little bit more, I feel the Marc Jacobs may have just a little more slip. So here's the Marc Jacobs and here's the 
Hourglass. The Hourglass more so feels like a moisturizer versus the Marc Jacobs that more so feels like a gel in texture, so texture-wise. But the Hourglass definitely smooths very, very nicely. Shadows apply, blend, last whenever I use this primer. So these two eyeshadow primers definitely are holding the spot for 2020. So for powders, I am a loose powder girl. I love a good compact. Give me a great blurring powder. Give me a powder that I can wear when I don't have any makeup. So because we talked about this product in the previous category, I figured we'd bring it up again. Why not? It's the Sicily Blur Expert Powder. Whenever I want to use this powder on days with it's pretty much no makeup, I like to go in with a fluffy brush. This allows me to pick up the product and just lightly dust it all over my skin. It gives a nice blurred effect. I feel polished and put together. And it's very easy, it's very light, it's effortless. The La Prairie Skin Caviar Loose Powder. Boy, this powder is something else. <laughs> oh yes. I first got into La Prairie through their skincare and then I slowly, very slowly for obvious reasons, dabbled into the makeup products that they have. This powder in particular is in the shade Translucent 2. Now the packaging, it's, it's doable. Let's put it that way. You get a mirror, which is always dirty. And then you have your sifter here that has a locking mechanism. So as you can see, it's now closed and now it's open. And it does come with a puff. Where is that puff speaking of? So here's the puff that it comes with. So you would have your puff in and you would just give it a slight tap. And because this powder is so finely milled, that light little tap at the bottom brings up enough on your puff that you can, you know, press it into the skin. And I'll tell you, the quality of their puffs is amazing. I have two of the little puffs because this comes with a little mini travel size, which is amazing because on the go, hello, it's literally the cutest thing. That's what the powder looks like. It is so finely milled. It contains the La Prairie Skin Caviar Complex. This powder is somewhat illuminating, but it's a, such a natural illuminated finish. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. So let me just kind of show you. Again, this is in the shade Translucent 2, and it is so finely milled. It literally goes on and blends into your skin into pretty much nothing. However I use this powder, it works and looks amazing. I can go in with my brush and set my whole entire face. I can go in with this on no makeup days and just dust a little all over the face. I go in with my sponge and like press it into the under eye and it still looks light and airy and amazing and it sets makeup and it wears beautifully especially once it melds in with your natural oils. It's a very healthy, soft, luminous finish. And as a combination skin person, this is like perfect on every level. So this next powder, I have a little story. I remember the first time that I tried this, I hated it. I was like so annoyed with it. I was like, no way, this is horrible. What are these people talking about with the claims? But... We had a full circle moment, okay? Because whenever I don't have the best experience the first time, maybe even the second time, I'll say, you know what, let me try it another way. I'm just maybe a little stubborn like that or I'm just a determined type of person. But I said, I'm gonna try it again. And I'm so glad that I did because I figured out like my little method that best works for me, my skin type, my skin tone, because this is a white powder, you'll see. Um, it's the Ilia. The Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This one. This is what I used to set my face today. This is what the packaging looks like. And let me tell you, this powder is so fine. So fine. It's so airy and so fine. But I'll tell you the best part for me. I can actually show you this one. <laughs> Again, I do most of these powders you've seen in videos or all can link videos that I've dedicated to on them if you really want to see them in action. But the biggest thing for me with this Ilia is how 
it literally will blur your skin instantly with the, the least amount of effort. Do you see that? And I have fine lines under my eyes. I mean, it's no secret. They're not gone, but they're smooth. And it just looks better, doesn't it? So yeah, that Ilia powder is something special. Now, the reason we didn't get on so well in the first round is because I went in using a sponge and it was not working for me in that way. So using a brush with the Ilia is how I found it to work best for me and truly do what it says, which is blur and smooth. And I also like that Ilia is a clean brand. I do have a few other products from Ilia and um, I know I need to do an updated Ilia video. So that'll be coming soon in the new year. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying this with every product. <laughs> You've seen it here on my channel. I've done videos on it, but yeah, it is. It is. I That's yes. Okay. <laughs> I definitely buy and review new things as often as possible, but I do my best to remind you to use what I've just told you to go and buy and let's use it and let's have fun with it and let's create different looks with it. Enough of my rambling. I am talking about the By Terry. Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This, hello, please focus. Rude. There we go. <laughs> the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This one, as you can see, she's pretty much all done. I have used this powder here on my channel for years. This powder has hyaluronic acids, which you guys know helps hold on to moisture. It's definitely a light, finely milled, soft, comfortable product. It sets, it holds, it puts you down with that modern mat. Whereas you're soft, you're not dehydrated and flat. I get on very well with this powder, especially on my under eye and especially on the T-zone. A lot of people have this misunderstanding, we'll call it, that if you have combination skin or oily skin, that it doesn't need moisture. That's not true. Your sebum is being overproduced to compensate for not having enough moisture. Plus, it's already overproducing because of the skin type. So with products like this, it is going to give you hydration and yet keep it under control with the shine. Of course, over a period of time, you're going to need to touch up again, you know, because eventually everything is going to come through. But for it being a hydrating powder. I know, I remember the first time I was like, a hydrating powder, a what? With hyaluronic acid, a who? <laughs> Until I finally tried it and it's been hooked ever since. And this is years upon years upon years. I hope that you're enjoying today's video so far. Now that we're on to setting powders, I definitely like to hear what some of your favorites are. Comment them down below. All right, we're moving on to another Sicily product. Can you tell? Me and Cicely, we've got this thing. <laughs> but I have to say, I think it's brands that include a little bit of skincare with nice, high-quality ingredients and give you that nice, luxurious feel. You know, I think that's just my thing. So this is the Cicely Transparent Loose Face Powder. And this has white hibiscus flower extract. I did a dedicated video on this and I ran on and on about how much I hated the packaging. And Lexi Jung was so kind in giving me a couple of recommendations, which I thank you so much for. But let me just show you what the packaging looks like. Comes with a mirror, comes with a little poof. And this one has the little holes. There's no locking mechanism. So just definitely be careful with this. Whenever I use my sponge to pick this up and press it into the under eye, it may seem like it's a lot, but it's really not because it's so fine. And my skin just, it just melts into my skin and it's very lightweight, very comfortable. It has that slight tint of color to it, but it's so sheer, it really doesn't do a lot. It's quite beautiful. Now, our last and final powder I used tremendously this year, but... Once it became discontinued, or so we thought, I kind of stopped, you know, sharing it on camera because there was no way of you getting it. 
but I used it a ton this year and it is the Shantikai the Hummingbird Powder. This is a perfecting and blurring powder. Beautiful packaging. This in particular gave back to the Amazon, but this is what the powder looks like. Now, word on the street is, <laughs> no, um, they have said that they're going to be bringing this back permanent and it's just going to be in different packaging and they might rename it. I don't know all the details, but that's just what's going around. But, oh my goodness, let's say you may have gone in with too much blush or too much bronzer and you don't want to have to take everything off. You just take your brush. It just happens to be a Shantikai brush. <laughs> this is the Buffer and Blur brush. And wherever you may have put on a little bit too much product, it does a beautiful job at just bringing it down a couple of notches, blurring and blending that area of your skin perfectly, seamlessly. And this is perfect for days where you don't want to wear too much makeup. You just want to have a smooth base, smooth skin. You go ahead and apply this. You can also use this to set your makeup for that blurred, beautiful effect as well. So I'm really excited that they'll be bringing this back because it is a fantastic formula. Most of my setting sprays are multifunctional, whereas I like to use them right before I start my makeup to just do a nice little refresh. I also like using them to kind of just settle down all the powders because when you first put on your makeup and you put on your powder, it can look a little heavy. So if you just kind of missed over a little hydration, it'll bring the powder down and help it meld into your skin and you can therefore press it in or just leave it be. But that's how I personally like to use these particular setting sprays, refreshing mists and such. So for the first misting, spraying, setting spray product <laughs> is the Le Mer the Mist. Now, if you check out that little device in the bottle, this is a live internal magnet that helps continuously charge the ingredients because this is a product that has marine botanical extracts that they instantly refresh your skin. In turn, giving you a more energized and revived finish and look to your skin. I love this stuff. Can you tell? <laughs> I like using this like as if it was just a hot day and I just want a little refreshing on the skin. It's great for that. This is also great to kind of mist over your face before you remove your makeup with any cleansing balms because it will allow it to have a little bit more of a slip. I like that when I'm all done with my makeup and I may have on a lot of powder that day for whatever reason, it happens, I do it quite often, I will go in and I will mist my mist and it will just bring the powders together and it'll meld them. I'll go in with my sponge and kind of just dab everywhere. And I have to say the mister on this is quite refined. And yes, it smells like Le Mer. It's Le Mer. <laughs> this next skin mist product really surprised me because I didn't think I would like a product like this. Not saying there's anything wrong. It's just, I don't know. I... I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I actually am surprised at how much I like it. It's the Farsali Rose Gold 24 Karat Skin Mist. It's got those little flakes at the bottom. So you shake it and yeah. This is another one of those products that you can refresh and hydrate your skin before you do your base makeup. You can use it to set, you can use it to refresh. So I definitely found this to be nicely moisturizing and hydrating on the skin. And it gives a little bit of a glowy finish. I don't want to compare it to Tatcha, but it's along those realms where you're going to get that pretty glow to your skin. Now on to our last and final product for this category for the best of luxury 2020. If you've made it this far in a video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much. So the final, last but not least, remember, we're not going in any particular order. The, the Shantikai Pure Rose Water. 
you guys, I already purchased recently a smaller size of this so that I can have it beside my bed and that it was not in a glass bottle. So I picked up this one and it's so pretty. Do you see this packaging? Oh my goodness. Anywho, this is the creme de la creme. This is the top of the top when it comes to the purest, the best of the best in quality in rose water that you can get, that money can buy. Now, Chantecaille is definitely one of my favorite brands. You guys know that this is no surprise, but there's a great story behind the rose and how it's, you know, harvested and everything. You should definitely check it out. They have it over on the Chantecaille website, but this is another one of those face mists that you can use for so many different reasons. You, you can use this to just refresh throughout the day. You saw I bought another one that's going on my nightstand because I just, my skin loves this stuff. <laughs> if I could afford it, I would want to take a bath in pure rose water. That's how it just, it feels so amazing on the skin. Let's say you're about to blend in your concealer mist the area you know just close your eyes and do a soft little mist to kind of rehydrate the area refresh it before you blend your concealer and you will notice quite the difference and i do drench myself in this i do oh yes i do and it's easy to because the aroma is so pleasant and you see that sprayer it's so fine you can definitely use this to set your makeup because it will help all those powders and everything meld together and just be absolutely beautiful obviously and it's very clear i use skin mists and setting sprays and facial sprays and refresher sprays sprays i use them to set my makeup because they do help meld the powder together there is some of these sprays on the market that do have you know a dedicated technology to help your product stay longer but not all of these products have that claim so just putting that out there <laughs> oh my goodness that's it that is it okay so that concludes our best in luxury beauty 2020 i will be back tomorrow with another group of categories so make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out and if you like today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me and letting me share these great products from 2020 with you. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.